So, uh, having had a look at uh, an alternator motor on uh, a BMX, I thought we might as well do something proper. So, this is uh, a 700C bike that uh, I picked up off the side of the road for nothing, uh, put out for the scrap, and it's, uh, it's not great, it's a bit of a piece of junk, but I have ridden it before, it's fine. So, I've done some very scabby welding, because I am not a welder, and this is my kind of first attempt. So we've got a front bracket, and we've got the rear bracket, and we've got the alternator. So this is off of Rover 75, and it's wired uh, in the Delta format. Um, it has been spinning up at uh, 3000 RPM, 3400 on the bench at 60 volts. Um, so we've got a 13 tooth sprocket welded on, uh, that's the only way it was going to go on here, and it was why I had the spares. And this is an 80 tooth uh, sprocket off, uh, off a scooter. You can get these for about £5, nice and cheap. Um, so it's a 25H 6mm uh, chain, which is uh, it's going to be marginal whether it's okay. But I've used one of these chains before on a converted uh, hub motor, which was running at 60 volts. It was a 250 watt. Uh, 36 volt motor, but when it was up voltage, you would probably pull in well, you're pulling 15 amps, so you probably pull it 900 watts. It had a 5 to 1 gear ratio with a 400 rpm output, so the, the chain coped with that. So, hopefully, it will be okay here. I shall wear steely boots uh, in case that chain gets ripped off near my ankles. <coughs> so, you've got uh, a bit of a concern here, I'm probably sure that. Uh, this is going to turn and break my legs off, but that's not going to happen because this is a freewheeling crank. So the idea is that I can pedal along normally. I've got a 30 tooth uh, drive sprocket behind here, and this is going to the normal 6 speed gear cluster, which is 28-14. Um, I've had to cut the uh, cable off uh, for the time being, so I've just fixed it on a gear, just put a little... Um, a little crimp there on that cable. So that's held up at the 24 tooth. So I've got 3000 RPM going through 1380. So that's about, what's that, a 6 to 1 reduction? Um, 7 to 1 reduction. So you're probably spinning this at 500 RPM at full speed, thereabouts. <clears throat> so we, we've got the potential here to do maybe 35 miles an hour if you've got enough power. Um, but what will happen is I will be pedalling this along at 100 RPM or maybe I'll get to 10 mile an hour, who knows uh, and then when I hit the throttle this will take off uh, faster than my pedals so uh, we'll just be on throttle and uh, the pedalling will be for just for the show really uh, as in Britain we have to do this um, anyway so I'll definitely not exceed 250 watts output on this, and I definitely won't exceed 15 miles an hour, um, because it's all down to the control that I'm going to put on. In terms of the conversion of the motor itself, I didn't show that, but everything is in uh, in the casing, so I've just taken out the regulator rectifier, wired three um, bullet connectors on, so these came off a... Uh, well, it was actually off a controller, which had bullet outputs, which is a bit strange, but the controller had it, so never mind. And I've just taken the um, the field coil out to what's going to be a 12 volt battery. So that will eventually go through um, my PWM. But for the time being, just to test this, we'll have a 12 volt battery on here. We'll have a very small uh, 15 amp controller or 18 amp controller on these and we'll just see if it works without ripping the chain apart. So watch this space. <laughs> 